So today I made it to West Texas, like in the very tip of the panhandle to a place called Fritch. Fritch is this tiny little town. Most people only know of it from the comedian Ron White. However, they also have something called Lake Meredith. It is so gorgeous and the campsites here are free. So, you know, I stopped and I decided I was gonna work on some videos before bed. This is the adventure that I went on today. I had a little bit of dinner. I got my fans all set up for bedtime. Got my lights all on. It's been nice in here. But then about 11 o'clock rolled around and the very breeze that welcomed me in earlier today in picking this site amongst the others that are also free is now starting to possibly become a little problematic. I feel it kind of swaying the van. Now, keep in mind, I have an NV200. It is a smaller size van, but there's a bigger van behind me and they're also rocking a little bit. Now we're far away from the edge. I'm not worried about that. More so, it's just that the wind is really gusty up here. So, um, we're gonna see how this night goes. Let's see how we sleep. Ooh. Mm. Good morning, adventurers, and welcome back. Last night after about 12.30ish, that crazy wind simmered down just a little bit and I was able to sleep so good. And now I'm just here straightening up the van so that I can get everything road ready again. Whenever I travel, I always try to put some things in certain places so that they don't rattle going down the road. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna slip in here and move my curtain, I'm trying several different things along this trip with the curtain because I'm trying to find the perfect happy median. But I think it's time for some sunglasses right now and then I'm going to finish up here and show you around camp. This place has been amazing. For example, my little doors here. Yeah, remember the new lights that we picked up? I shared those over on the community tab and they have a perfect place on each side. So these are the Hoagland lights that I'm checking out. And so far I haven't had to use them for emergencies, but I did use them a little bit around camp last night. So that's been kind of cool. And then right here with my Jackery, I always plug it in in the morning right before I take off. So we'll do that in a minute. But this little extra battery pack needs to find its home for safekeeping. And that is back here in this right here. Now, of course, looking at the van from the back, it looks a little bit more messy than it normally would. This goes up front with me. And then this will actually secure in place up on the bed for the time being so that it doesn't fall or rattle. That's where I keep most of my cameras. Now, typically my laundry has a place to go, but whenever I changed everything up in the van, I didn't think about this. So I have to figure this out and then I have some dishes to do and then we are ready to get out of here. Okay, so now that we've finished tidying up, I can tell you a little bit more about this campground. This campground is absolutely free and beautiful, and I was so impressed, but I started out at a different campground on the same lake also that is free. There are several different ones that you can go to, and you can find all of these on freecampsites.net, which is where I found them. I ended up up here at the Fritch Fortress, and I am so happy that I did because look at this view. As you can see, with the sunset, it was absolutely gorgeous, but in the morning time, there's just that slight breeze coming across that makes you nice and cool feeling, despite it still being summer here in Texas, and it is so gorgeous. Now, this is a driving loop, and so there's lots of opportunities for you to camp here, and all of the spots kind of look like this, where you kind of pull off, and then you have some amenities over to your side. Now, despite not having any kind of tree coverage for the van to park under, we do have this beautiful awning right here. And that was really a nice touch to see because it does get rather hot up here. Now, another thing I liked is, guess what guys? No sags, no drags, good tables. And that makes everything really nice. And these are not small tables. 
This is for one campsite. Each campsite has something about this large, which is crazy, but that's not all. As you can see, the sites also come standard with a barbecue grill and a fire pit. And we're not talking about a small fire pit. That thing is huge. So you could definitely put a lot of camp chairs around that one. And something else that I noticed while I'm up here, everything is very, very clean. They do have trash cans kind of back here. So they pick up the trash every so often. I'm not sure how often that is, but the signs kind of indicate that it's once every couple of days. Now I found the kiosks at Lake Meredith very helpful. Whenever I pulled into that initial campsite, I was able to pull up and find a map showing me where all of the additional campsites were. And then since I didn't have great signal in that lower area, I was able to take a picture of this and kind of navigate by the roads. Now up at this area, the French Fortress, which we were camping like right over there, I had full signal 5G AT so that was a big huge bonus because I was actually able to work from here last night very easily. Now I think we all know from previous uploads however that's not always the case and typically whenever I'm at a free campsite I don't have service or I have very little service. So I actually will be sharing with you something super super cool on the channel. I want to introduce it to you now while we're here and talking about it. It's right inside these doors and it's going to help boost up our signal even when we are more remote. And that is this guy right here next to my fire extinguisher. I was actually planning on installing this last night because I thought I'd need it, but the signal was good here. So this is the WeBoost Drive Reach. I've started diving into it to make sure everything is good and I went ahead and registered it. So I will be doing a how-to video and showing you what a difference this makes when we don't have good signal. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back in the van and go take a little drive through the camp. I like to do this because it shows you guys what kind of sites that are available and then also some of the views that you have from those sites. And so this is going to be a nice, pleasant little drive. Now, just a short distance from camp, we actually have this area right here. This is the boat ramp area, but there is a little walkway where you can actually have a scenic viewpoint out here also. I mean, look at this. Look how pretty this is out here. This is so nice. I will definitely be coming back here again. And again, this is one of many here at Lake Meredith. So there's tons of space that you can absolutely spread out and enjoy water activities. There's also hiking trails and there is a nature center here somewhere that I haven't located just yet, but this is a huge place. And I never knew this was here despite being from Texas. So I am mind blown. Now, something we will have to address, however, is there are tons of bugs. So Dimples already needed a bath, but now, oh my gosh, look at that. Ugh. But that is just a classic case of expectation versus reality. And a lot of times whenever we see all of the really beautiful images of van life, that is not something that we see. The nasty stuff. Like, I'm gonna have to scrub that bumper so hard. And I wanted you guys to see that also because, you know, that is reality, especially driving through an area like West Texas where there are so many bugs. And uh, is it pleasant? No. But is it real? Yeah. So a little quick recap, beautiful views, absolutely amazing sunsets, a little bit of wind, a lot of bugs, 
and tons of fun here at Fritz Fortress. I was super excited to stay here. I had the ability to work and to just kick back and enjoy myself and I will be back again. I hope you've enjoyed today's video coming along with me to Fritz Fortress here at Lake Meredith. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and check out other van content and also campgrounds that I stay at along the way. Until next time guys, bye. And with that said, it's time for us to do another reality of van life. It's time to go get gas. Yes. Thank you.